The, the approach to develop a very, very complex uh, product or system uh, really starts with decomposing the product into uh, the main uh, systems, subsystems, all the way to the component uh, level um, of that final assembly. The product architecture here uh, refers or reflects how uh, the different um, systems and subsystems uh, coincide with each other or gets juxtaposed together uh, from a physical uh, perspective. Are they one next to another? Are they one on top of the other? Are they meshed? And um, this is where we start talking about a modular approach or an integrated approach. So uh, modularity or modular approach is really the level where uh, uh, different uh, building blocks or systems are responsible for uh, one main function and one alone. And to enhance the function of your system, you would have to add new blocks adjacent to the one already selected. So thinking of the other side, which is an integrated design, um, that approach basically strives to combine function or many functions within one body. So a good uh, the descriptor for that, uh, for a battery system would be, do I make uh, one battery that gets fit into a structure and that battery is only responsible for storing energy with the structure around it being completely self-standing structurally and responsible for providing that uh, structural rigidity. That would be an aspect that is modular. Those are two blocks of the vehicle and they serve different functions. Now, um, an integrated design would basically propose to take that battery and the structure, the frame of the vehicle, and integrate them. So basically you would come up with a hybrid piece that is responsible for both structure and the battery all at once. And one without the other would weaken or not allow the system to hold itself and be uh, present. And so modularity helps you achieve higher level of function, uh, improvement in scaling, economies of scale, opportunities for bringing costs down, and um, less needing to uh, reinvent a specific system for a specific application. While uh, an integrated design is usually uh, pursued uh, when, when performance is uh, integral to the success of the system. So uh, weight can be reduced, uh, resistances can be reduced, efficiency needs to be boosted by really compacting that system uh, integrally. And so what we do with our system is we really try to identify the balance between uh, modularity and integration. So instead of having a very separated cells, module, and pack, and all the ancillary complexity between the two, we try to blur the line between the cell and the pack via a pretty integrated uh, the module. So the module, for example, uh, would serve uh, more functions than just holding the cells together. It's responsible for thermal management, for part of the battery management system, for part of the safety, be it active or passive, etc. Now, that building block itself is pretty modular and scalable and gets utilized into a different configuration to make the final, final system.